everybody. Uh, I'm David Kilmer. I'm the convener of Prospect Local Industry Group. I'd like to welcome everybody here this afternoon. And a special welcome to His Excellency, the Governor of South Australia, the Honourable Hugh Van Lee, Rachel Sampson, MP for the State Seat of Adelaide, Minister of Child Protection, and Wendy Frew, who's our uh, star this afternoon, our author. Thomas and Jenny Lee. Uh, who were already in their 40s when they decided to make a momentous decision to sail all the way from Cornwall in 1852 to a new colony of South Australia. The Leans were Methodist converts and in the new, in new colony they and their children became a, a very important part in the early Methodist church. They helped to build chapels um, in the Gore Plains and then in the Adelaide Hills. They became very involved in temperance and suffrage and they were movements that had very strong roots here in South Australia. The family's belief in the values of hard work, self-denial and self-help was carried down the generations, I think. So I think the Leans are very much part of this country's history and, and in my book I've tried to tell their personal story. So thank you very much for coming along today. to invite His Excellency, um, the Honourable Hugh and me, to launch um, Wendy's book. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the opportunity uh, to be here and to say a few words and to launch this uh, fascinating book. Well, with this book, Lynn Times, Ms. Frill has given us a valuable and memorable picture of the role that members of one branch of her own family have played in our history. She begins with her great-great-great-grandparents, Thomas and Jenny Lin, who took the courageous step to leave their homeland in certain religious freedom and a better life. She has found that when the Lin set sail from Plymouth in 1852, they come here hoping for a better life in a colony being advertised as free. The book, Lin Times, forces, forces us consider the experience and the emotions of the women who kept their families together while their men were at the uh, battlefront, sometimes for years at a time. This is a family in which one woman, Miss Fool's great-great-grandmother, Alice, watched five sons, six grandsons, and two nephews march off to war. I congratulate uh, Wendy on the scope and depth of 20 years' research which has culminated in this school. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm so pleased and greatly honoured and very proud to launch the new times. Thank you. Hey, thank you all very much. I'll close the ceremony today. Thank <laughs> you.